Hey yo! It's the crazy uh, angry photographer. Uh, this is a tip I kind of meant to make the other day but didn't because I was just insanely tired. Uh, trying to save you some more money here and I forgot to mention this the other day. I meant to, I had it in my mind, I didn't do it, but fuck it, I'm doing it now, so... Um, saving you money. I talked about the God lens uh, that everybody must own. That is the Nikkor 135mm 2.8 manual lens that you can snag for... It averages about $150. Um, now, most of the time you're shooting it at f4 or f8. You know, uh, still gives awesome bokeh at f4, f8. Uh, just the cat's ass. Just, you know, it is just fine. A fine lens. But if you want to save even more money, it's like, well, I don't tra trust this crazy tattooed fucker on his YouTube channel yet. You know, even though he's posted a lot of uh, extremely logical and sensible videos on saving me money because he doesn't have an agenda and he's not trying to fuck me over for something and he's not selling me anything. So maybe he's got some good advice. Anyway, to save you money, instead of spending the 150 bucks average used on a Nikkor 135mm, uh, there are three varieties of 135mm Nikkor. The one that I will yeah, we'll do a video on next week, that is the 135DC F2 Nikkor, which of course is new, $1,300. As I made you that other video about the one lens that you want to buy, the 135mm F2.8 Nikkor. I made a nice video on that. If you want to save even more money instead of spending 150 bucks, you can get, obviously, and I have this lens as well. Uh, some people said it, it, I do not agree with that, that it has more contrast than the 2.8. I do not agree with that. I, uh, I, uh, I do know that at 3.5 versus the f4 on the 2.8, this 3.5 lens is sharper, but they both come out neck and neck at f8. And the reason for that is this cheaper lens, which is a little bit smaller than the 2.8 135mm Nikkor, is that this 135mm, remember glass is the antichrist. When it comes to lenses, it doesn't matter how good the glass is, more glass equals shit. The more the glass goes up, the more shitty the lens gets, no matter how good the glass is. The reason is is that this 135 uh, 3.5 lens is uh, four elements, whereas 135 millimeter uh, 2.8 has five glass elements in it. Uh, there's another reason, but um, you can usually snag, as you can see, this one here is buy it now with free shipping for eighty dollars. I have three of these. Three fives, and I've got four, and I've got five of the two eights. Yeah, I, I collect these. Yeah, kind of crazy, I know. But if you want to save yourself sixty bucks, eighty bucks, um, I bought another one of these uh, last week uh, for forty dollars shipped. Believe it or not, I pounced on it. It was uh, sold by a, a a thrift store out in California. I snagged one, just just crazy cheap. But that's a way to save yourself a lot of money if you want the one thirty five two eight. You're like, ah, you know, it's $150. He said it's just, you know, awesome. But uh, since you're going to be shooting 85% or more of everything at uh, F4 and above, you know, you don't necessarily, you know, you can get wonderful bokeh at 3.5 on 135.35 3.5 lens. So this lens is a little bit smaller. I think it's uh, like 380 grams less than the 2.8 lens that I showed you the other day. I have this lens. I, I love it. Uh... I haven't used it in quite a while. The only reason being is I've got my one beater 2.8 that I pack around with me everywhere. And the rest of them I've squirreled away since I collect them because they're kind of like a hidden secret of Nikkor lenses. And the other option on a great 50mm, I made you that other video the other day about why you should use a 50mm on a DX camera because it's basically an 80mm portrait lens. Now... I told you why the 1.4 is an extremely bad choice. And uh, the one, uh, the 1.8 50mm is a great choice, but an even better choice um, than the both of those for a sheer fact of uh, it being extremely cheap. You can see this one's a buy it now, $58. You can actually find them for $40, $50 bucks with free shipping. That is the Nikkor 50mm AI manual lens at F2. So instead of spending, now a 1.4 is going to set you back about $200 used, minty shape. Uh, Nikkor 50mm 1.8 is going to run you typically about $130, $40, bucks, sometimes $120. Bucks. But an F2, awesome lens. You're never going to be really shooting anything under F2 anyway. 
Admit it to yourself, okay? Um, 60 bucks. 50 bucks. You need a great portrait lens for your DX or just a normal lens for your FX camera. Everybody needs a 50. Even though it's kind of a boring lens. But it's not about the lens. It's about the photographer and your compositional skills and your mastery of lighting. It's important to have one of these, especially to train with it, as I showed you in the other day on that video that I made. But... That's the way to save yourself a lot of money in a 50mm, just get an F2 uh, AI 50mm uh, 50 50mm Nick War for average about 50 bucks and saving yourself the money on that one lens I told you you gotta get and uh, the 135mm not as fast it's a wee bit smaller um, they're both neck and neck on IQ, IQ basically is just it's just photo slang for uh, sharpness. Talk about the IQ or the intelligence of the lens. Uh, they're both neck and neck at uh, at uh, f/8. Most question, most unquestionably, the uh, 2.8 is a wee bit softer at 2.8. But you know, this is an f/3.5, and uh, the one advantage that this lens has over the 2.8 is a good big smaller, more compact. So, if it's winter time or something, you want something you can actually pock in your pocket. This one will actually fit in your pocket really nice. It's a it's a wonderful tiny little lens. Also has pull out lens hood. Um, I have a couple of these lenses. I'm going to be doing a video uh, video of lineup on all three of these 135 millimeters: the 135, 35, 135, 28, and the 135 DC f2 Nikkor with the defocus control, which is kind of a misnomer. It's not really defocus control. It's uh, something else, but that's how the Japanese translate it as. People confuse, like, what's well, defocus control? Anyway, that's a matter for another video. But these are a couple options. Now, I've already given you all the options to save money, but I meant to make this video the other day about how you can save even more money. So that's the. Uh, so go on to eBay and snag one. If you've already grabbed the 2.8, then wonderful, you're already games ahead. But if you wanted to save, you know, another 50, 60 bucks. Uh, this lens is more compact, and uh, it does have a little bit more contrast, but some people don't like that. Um, I can't actually say in comparing the two, I notice uh, any difference in uh, in reproduction, you know, at anything at f8 or above. So in that, they're neck and neck. That's the only advantage is, is this has four elements instead of the 2.8, which has five elements, and also it's more compact for throwing in your pocket. It's, uh, this, they're, they're both built like tanks, but the 2H is just a little bit too honking big to throw in your pocket, where this one you can throw in your pocket. So, there's another tip to save you a considerable amount of money. That's a tip on the 135, 3.5, and the tip on the 50mm F2. I've got one of those buried in, I think, case number 5. Um, I really don't use it because I've got, uh, what have I got? I've got 5 50mm. I just use one one eight all the time. You know, there's no reason to get a bunch of lenses dirty when you only need one. So, I got too much redundancy on lenses. Anyway, this long-winded video was brought to you by the crazy tattooed asshole, the angry photographer. Send me any questions, and if you want to make a tiny donation of a buck or two, or if you just want to send me an email telling me to go fuck myself and you think I'm full of shit. And that's fine too, because uh, both of them are equally entertaining and or lovely. So, whatever your choice is, you know, so be it. Be good, keep cool, rock out with your cock out, have fun, whatever. Go get drunk or something like that, I don't drink, but... Go have fun, and I hope I saved you a few bucks, because God knows if you go into a camera store, those fucking douchebags, their only agenda is to bend you over the table and fuck you. Now fuck you, Raw. They won't even... I'm getting a little too crude. But they don't know anything about lenses, and I'm tired of all these asshole videos on YouTube. It's like, I own two lenses, and this lens is the best, because it takes good pictures of Grandma. Oh my God. Please stop it. Stop the insanity. You know? If you say you like a lens, that's fine. But do you really have any basis of comparison of saying that it's better lens? Because what have you got it to compare it to? Well, I got four lenses and this lens is awesome. No, it really isn't. Actually, that lens is a piece of shit and you've just got no experience at all about what's fucking good and what's not. It's like an asshole. It's only been drinking wine from the convenience store. It's like, this wine is really good. I love this wine. It's $6 a bottle, and it's just awesome. 
It's like, okay, you've never actually had a real bottle of wine, and yet you're talking uh, up that uh, homeless pig swill you got at the convenience store like it's something good. Yes, you're a fucking idiot. Yes, 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 you're a fucking idiot. Don't make a video about it, please. Maybe you should step back and go, whoa, whoa. I got no experience on lenses. I own a few of them, but I've got no reason to tell somebody what to buy. Because I really got no expect spectrum. There's an important word. Spectrum. No spectrum of experience to say, this is shit, this is good. This is better than this for that reason. I like this, not because of my personal opinion, but because I've tried this, 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 and this, and I've owned that, 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 and that. That's why this is good. And then someone goes, hmm, this asshole's actually used a lot of that shit. He's trying to save me money and time. That's valuable information I could use. Valuable information is hard to come by. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Have a good one.